The contaminated blood scandal affected hundreds of families, with more than 1,000 confirmed deaths. Today, these middle-aged men came to the long-running inquiry seeking justice for what happened to them when they were boys in the 1970s. The pattern of their ties are the colours of this campaign, in solidarity with the dozens of friends who died. I have guilt, um, still being here. Um, it's stigma, um, losing 72 friends, uh, school friends, um, who you've known since you were that high. So that's been difficult. Trelaws is a boarding school in Hampshire for the disabled. In the 70s, children with haemophilia could be referred there to a specialist NHS facility. The necessary transfusions must be prepared under strictly sterile conditions. The inquiry was shown this promotional film from 1978. This inquiry has already heard many distressing testimonies from people who received contaminated clotting products which gave them hepatitis C and sometimes HIV as well. Trelaws is particularly hard because these are all families who had sent their children to a boarding school for the best possible care and treatment. That's what they were told, that's what they were promised, and they've been fighting for justice ever since. Many of the blood products came from the United States, where donors included prisoners and drugs users. Gary Webster, who gave evidence today, was at Trelaws in the late 70s and early 80s. He told me their campaign has been obstructed every step of the way. They found, they say they found things down the back of cupboards and they wouldn't give us this and they wouldn't give us that. So it's been a fight, but I think now we've got the, the inquiry that um, people have now decided that they've got us give us the info. Well, it's an example of how, for anybody who's had an injustice, you've just got to keep You've got to keep going. I mean, this actual, the inquiry's been going three years, but this campaign, you know, it started 40 years ago, but the campaign's really been going for sort of 15, 20 years now. So this is really our last chance, I think. Contamination and allegations of cover-up. All these years on, no one underestimates the inquiry's giant task. Simon joins us from outside the inquiry. Some really upsetting accounts today, Simon. Has the school said anything? Uh, Sean, there has been a statement from the school. Law said today, we are truly saddened about what happened within the NHS clinic, within the school, and that they are completely supportive of the campaign for the truth. The inquiry for the rest of the week will hear from former pupils, a former headmaster, later from former senior officials and politicians too about who knew what when. As you say, this has been described as the worst treatment disaster in NHS history.